Okay, so this is the second part. We've taken uh, our schematic, we don't need that anymore, and I've created um, the breadboard. I could have done that physically, I've done it virtually. Um, there's the schematic that it produced, and there's the bill of material. So now I know all the parts I need. Well, so the next part is to push that into Fusion and um, create an actual PCB, but the real reason we're doing this is to create the enclosure. So uh, what I do is send to, and we're just going to click Fusion. OK, so what's happened is it's opened up um, a few different, uh, different projects. I'm going to close this one because that was the one that I started with. So the first one here is the schematic. That's now, this is the one we're interested in. This is the, the printed circuit board, as it were. At the moment, that's 0, 0. So I'm really going to move everything over here. And then I'm going to reduce the size of this. To move stuff, you could click that. And you're just going to click right in the center. And then you can move things around normally. There you go. So we'll put that there for now. And then I'm going to take this here. Now these, these uh, extending lines or stretchy lines are called uh, rat lines. These are the connections. I'm just going to move this one. So there's, there you see I've got a few resistors here. The hard part or the fun part now is actually trying to move all the lines or the tracks so that they don't touch each other or cross over each other. So it's a bit of a challenge sometimes. So it does require um, a bit of patience. I don't need to move them too close because uh, the closer they are, then the harder it's going to be for me to put the tracks in. Now you can do the auto router. Auto router, I'm just going to say top to uh, not available and just do the auto router on the bottom. Um, I'm going to set the effort to low. You can set it to high, it takes a bit more time. And now if I continue, it takes the fun out of it. But what's happening is the computer is going to route it for you. Okay. So what it's done is it's put all these um, lines in the right places for you. You can see it's going through um, components and it's quite tight. Uh, we can go to the root manual, which is here. And then we're going to expand our width. Let's go to 20. Now, the fatter the line, the easier it is for people to solder, uh, especially if they're beginners. OK, um, I'm quite happy with that. It's, uh, it's not as neat as the automatic one, but I know that the tracks are much thicker, so I know it's going to be easier for me later on. So now the next stage would be to push this out uh, and actually make a, uh, a component of it. So for that, we go, we're going to push to 3D PCB. And there you have it. So now um, in the next uh, part of this video, I'll show you how to make the case for that.